Close your eyes, watch your breath. The breath is the force of life. It's what keeps you alive, keeps you going. And it only stands to reason that if the breath is comfortable, it's going to be good for the body and good for the mind. So breathe in a way that feels good. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep or shallow. So you've shown goodwill for yourself. When you have goodwill for yourself, then it's a lot easier to have goodwill for other people as well. Because you think about true happiness, where does it come from? It comes from within the mind. This is one of the reasons why we bow down to the Buddha and all of his noble disciples. It's because they showed us that true happiness doesn't have to depend on material gain or status or praise or sensual pleasures. It comes from good qualities in the mind. And the nature of the world is not everybody can have material gain, status, praise, sensual pleasure. Because those things go back and forth. When you have material gain, then you have loss. You have status, you loss loss of status. Wherever there's praise, there's also criticism. Wherever there's pleasure, there's also pain. So these things don't, don't give any real satisfaction. And if that were all the world had to offer, it'd be a pretty miserable place. But the human realm has something better, has the potentials within our minds. This is how we provide happiness for ourselves, is by developing good qualities in the mind. Like right now, you just stay with the breath. You're trying to be mindful, to keep the breath in mind. You're alert to watch what you're doing. You put forth effort, and the mind gets concentrated, it gets focused in one place. You're showing compassion for yourself, and you're showing compassion for others. So a lot of good qualities are being developed right here. And as you focus in on your mind, you realize this is where genuine goodness lies. This is where genuine happiness lies. We live in the world, and the things that come our way, you have to regard them simply as decorations. They're not the real substance. The real substance is what you can do with your mind. And as I said, this is something that's available to everybody, whether you're rich or poor, young or old. You can develop good qualities in your mind. So the opportunity to do something skillful is always there. That's why it's good to know that this is where true happiness lies, because it's something available to all of us. Not just the rich, not just the famous. Everybody, if they put, make, set their minds to it, set their hearts to it, can find true happiness inside. So when you think in this way, that's when you have conviction in the Buddha's teachings. That what he teaches you is really good and really true. It's worth taking to heart. We think about the Buddha's awakening. It's not just one event that happened a long time ago, along with other events. It is the most important event in human history, because it shows us our potential. We can find true happiness. We don't have to content ourselves with little pleasures that come our way. We can find something really deep inside, true well-being, true happiness, true goodness. The potential is all right here. So we bow down to the Buddha because we need to show respect to him because he shows us how to have respect for ourselves, for our desire for true happiness. He shows us where it can come from. And that's a great gift, the fact that he went to all the trouble to gain awakening and found it is something we should always keep in mind. So we have our values straight. We don't get deflected by the world. We don't get deceived by the world. Because the world plays along with our own greed, aversion, and delusion. Those potentials are in us as well. So here's why we respect the Buddha, because he points out what things inside us are worthwhile, which things are not. And he encourages us to develop what's good and to let go of what's not. And that way he shows us that we can find true happiness, we can find release from our sufferings. All the potentials for all the really good things in life are right here inside.